right, we are live. I'm really excited. I'm Bonnie Donahue, uh, Diamond Leader in doTERRA, and I'm with my amazing friend and gold leader, Claire Layton. And we have a, we're going to do a quick class, try to get this in, in about 30 minutes or so, doing um, essential oil 101 and the top 10 oils. And we are going to be interactive, so if you guys are on live, um, please feel free to talk in the chat box and we'll check We'll check out the comments at the end, and we hope to answer all your questions. So first, Claire, why don't you introduce yourself and share your story, and then um, I'll share mine, and then we'll get right into it. Okay, sure. Um, hi, everyone. My name is Claire, like Bonnie said, and um, Bonnie and I have been friends for several years, um, so we go a little bit back, so it's fun to do something like this together. Um, I am, let's see, my husband and I have been married for over 20 years. We live in the Portland, Oregon area. We have three boys. Two are actually in college, which is so weird to say out loud. And my youngest just started high school, all boys. Um, so I love being a mom, love, love, love being a mom. And I've always looked for ways that um, I could kind of be home with them and do things, you know, kind of work from home. So this has been really ideal. My essential oil story actually started about a year ago. I had heard of them, but I'd never tried them. Oh, I'm getting pop-ups. Let me get rid of that <laughs> on my computer. There we go. Um, so a little over a year ago, um, I was diagnosed with Lyme disease. I'm not going to go into that full story there, but... Um, I have always been interested in natural solutions and trying natural things. So I really wanted to go the natural route. So I introduced um, kind of a supplement program and with food and, you know, all of that, I was starting to feel a little better, but I felt like there was something missing. And my friend Bonnie had called me um, because she'll share her story too. Hers is a little similar, but she was just calling as a friend to check on me. You know, how are you doing? And she said, you know, have you ever tried essential oils? maybe you should give that a try because I've been using them and they're helping. And I'm like, I've never tried them. I will do it. Let's, let's try it. So she said, you need to start with wild orange and lemon. And I said, somebody gave me some oils about a year ago and I never opened the bottle because I didn't know what to do with them. Went and checked. It was wild orange and lemon. So immediately she's like, get those out and start using them. So I did. I had such a powerful experience that, um, really it just kind of propelled from there it was like what else can I try like these are amazing they work they're plant-based I mean what could be better easy solution right at my fingertips so I started trying all the oils and now fast forward a year later here I am today sharing with you the top 10 and what they are and how to use them so that's that's kind of my my story in a nutshell I love it. I love your story. And I'm so glad we can do this together. So much fun because mm -hmm. he's in Oregon and I'm in Illinois and we can still do this together, <laughs> which yep. is um, like, thank goodness for technology and social media. Okay. So I'll quickly tell you my story and then I'll get into all the fun of the oils. But um, like Claire said, you know, she said her story was a little similar to mine. Mine was, um, we'd both suffered from Lyme disease, which is it. <laughs> um, and we just had all these symptoms and I'm, we're definitely not going to go into that t today because that would just be too long. But basically we were looking for something. Well, we didn't even know we were looking for it actually. You know, for me, I didn't even know what I was looking for. I didn't even want to use oils because, you know, I kept thinking about oils and I kept thinking, I don't want to use them. <laughs> They're not going to work. Um, I don't believe in oils. If, if they were, you know, really what they you know, everyone said they were, I would have already been using them because I was trying everything to, um, you know, going to all these doctors and trying things that, are, you know, supplements and just reading every article. And so I really didn't think they were going to work. And I started using them and my life started to change like slowly. And some things were, were quick to notice the difference and, and some things it took, um, you know, months, but now it's been, for me, it's been over a year, right? It's been over a year. Oh yeah, it's been like a year and a half now since I've been using oils. And I feel like they were kind of like the key ingredient, the, the last thing that I didn't, that I wasn't using. And so now, like our mission is to help other women and moms to basically one, take control of their health and their life, right? But also to help them to be the best version of themselves 
so they can give back to others, their family, lead by example. You know, when we don't feel good, and as Claire as I, you know, Claire and I know, when we don't feel good, um, your life is just poor quality, right? Every every aspect of your life and every area of your life, and you can't be your best, you can't give your best. And so I think that's kind of like the bigger mission is we just really want women and moms to feel good and to have good um, you know, natural toolboxes in their house so they can take care of their family. And so we're just going to go over some of the things that we do um, in a quick version. And, and this is just an introduction class. So once you get started with oils, there's just nothing that you can't do. You know, there's just so much. And, and it really affects every aspect of your life from cleaning to DIY beauty products to your emotions. It's really, it's yeah really crazy um and it, it's just really awesome and wonderful and how it's all connected and and doTERRA is gift from the earth is, is what it means and all these oils are made from plants that god gave us and now we're using them to um you know help have our bodies do what they're meant to do so that's the a quick version of the story so now claire is going to go into the history of essential oils then talk about the the cool uh, three cool things about essential oils. I'll talk about three ways to use essential oils. Then we'll take turns going over the top 10 essential oils and how to get them in your hands. Okay, yeah, that sounds great. Okay, so um, I think most people I know when I first thought of essential oils, the only thing I could think of is, oh yeah, I like didn't Jesus use frankincense? <laughs> like, didn't they give that as a gift? So that was pretty much my knowledge. And um, really, essential oils have been used throughout time, starting back from the Egyptians. Um, they would put them in their tombs. And in fact, those um, chemical compounds of the plants um, are still found active and alive when they open the tomb, which is pretty, um, pretty powerful. Hippocrates used them. Um, you know, anything in plant form really before, you know, the 80s when our synthetic medications were introduced, everything was plant-based. So if you think about it, it really makes a lot of sense. So what doTERRA has done is really just bridge that gap from what used to be and what really started as, you know, kind of by design, these plants that were created to help our bodies, um, you know, perform their best. doTERRA took that and wanted to reintroduce it to the marketplace so that moms like you and me could have these at our fingertips for our kids and also to know that they were um, pure and safe. So that's a little bit of the history bringing in a nutshell. There's a lot more to it, but that's really brief. So then the three cool things that I would say about essential oils, the number one thing I think a lot of people ask, I know I ask myself is well, what are they? <laughs> um, well, they are natural. Um, they are the oils from the actual plant, whether it be the leaf, the root, the petal of the flowers, the um, stem, the wood part, you know, of, of a tree, whatever it is, it's whatever, um, wherever it grows naturally in that plant, there's little oil sacs everywhere. And so they are 100% pure. When we're talking about doTERRA, which is what we are speaking of today, we know that they are, um, nothing is taken away and nothing is added to when they um, distill it and they extract the oils. So they're all natural and they're super potent. What that means is one drop of oil, if you were to take um, a bottle of oil and you put a drop on your hand, okay, that's just one drop. It's really potent. So one drop of peppermint is equal to about drinking 28 cups of tea. So you're gonna have the same benefit. So I don't know about you, but 28 cups of peppermint tea is a lot to drink in one sitting. <laughs> I love peppermint tea, but this is much faster. So I can breathe that in, I can put it right on the back of my neck, and I immediately feel it. Like, I feel it in my sinuses, I feel more alert, it smells amazing, it has a cooling effect, it's really cool. So the first thing is, is that they are all natural. Second cool thing is that they're effective. As I just showed you, I feel that right away, okay? I wish right they away, I can feel just, that. Yeah. Pretend you're smelling. If we were doing a live class, like in home um, with you, everybody would get to try this. Um, I actually do this. Um, we'll talk more about how we use them, but I, I do that like every day, multiple times a day. Sometimes if I'm meeting to just feel alert. So 
So they are effective because, um, like I spoke of earlier, their, their plant, what it's doing is it is helping your, um, your cells in your body receive this oil kind of as a receptor to help that cell feel better or to strengthen it in some way. So what I love about um, modern medicine is that we have the best of both worlds at our fingertips now, right? We've got doctors who can help us with certain issues, but I have my first line of defense that I can go to in a natural form for my family right in my medicine cabinet in my house. So, um, so they're very, very effective and it takes a more natural approach. And so the cool thing is about our, um, our body made of cells, um, the oils can actually penetrate into the cells, okay? Your, your cells have an oily membrane around, that's just basic biology. I'm not gonna go any more sciencey than that, <laughs> but just know that there is a cellular membrane and water-based antibiotics cannot pass through that. So if you've got a, like a virus, um, these oils can go help and attack that, but they can also attack the bacterial um, infections on the outside. So that's really cool that they work in both ways. Um, they work to address the root cause of your symptoms, the root cause, and help the body work on healing itself on the inside out. It, it allows the body to do the work. I think okay. That, I think that's the third thing. I was gonna say because as moms, like to me, that's that says it all. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Especially definitely. I have a cool story about um about that that I'll share later when we talk about top. I have lots of cool stories, but um, where I've just seen it work time and time again. So the third thing is they're safe. I alluded to that, you know, earlier. They are completely safe. Um, I uh, mentioned I was already into natural things before I found the oils and. Um, purity and safety was really important to me, um, not just for my kids, obviously as a mom, right, but also for myself because having Lyme, I had to be really careful about what I was introducing to my body. So when I was doing my research, I was really, really happy and comfortable to find um, out about doTERRA's practices. Um, they have a, what they call, they introduced a CPTG quality, it's certified therapeutic pure grade oils, okay? That means that every batch has been third-party tested. Um, I mean, just to the extent that you guys can't even believe. If you're really a science person, you can go to sourcetou.com and learn a lot more about that and where we source them and how we partner with other um, communities to bring to the marketplace the best available, really. Um, so yeah, so those are the three cool things. They're natural, they're effective, and they are completely safe. And speaking to myself, when I first started using them, um, maybe you too, I thought, man, I've never, used, I've never even tried oils before, but the truth is they're, they're in our marketplace now, they're just a different grade. So every day we're having them in our food. There's food grade type of um, oils. There's the synthetics where maybe your cleaners where they add like lemon. Obviously you would never drink that. <laughs> um, you actually, it even says like keep away from your kids and wear masks, right? Mm -hmm. So there's different type of grades. There's therapeutic. We may get some aromatic benefits. Um, you'll find those at your whole food stores. Um, you know, great for smelling. Um, but when we're talking about doTERRA CPTG, we are really talking about medicinal um, type of grade of oils. Um, so that's the difference with doTERRA. Love it. Thank you, Claire. Um, okay. So for time, I'm going to go really fast too, but there are three ways to use it. Okay, basically. Um, the first way, and Claire was already showing, it's aromatically. So if you took one drop of essential oil, like what she showed you, put it into your, the palm of your hand, you can inhale it and breathe it in and you're getting the benefits because um, we have the olfactory nerve right here and anything that you breathe in goes right into the limbic system, okay? Almost instantly. And so you're going to get benefits like when we talk about emotionally, but also um, just um, protecting and, and just really um, anywhere the body needs it, if you, even if you breathe it in, your body will, will get the benefit of the oil, okay? And that's one of the fastest ways. And think about it, if you were to go to have surgery or have oral work done, how do they put you to sleep, right? They give you a mask and you have to breathe it in, right? It's the fastest way to enter the body. They don't give you a supplement or an IV, you know, you, you breathe it in. So it's a great way to get 
the benefits of essential oils. And I thought that was very weird that I'm like, oh my gosh, you can breathe something in and get a benefit. But think about to the opposite. That's why you don't breathe in chemicals, right? Because you don't want to breathe that in. That's bad for you. So that's the same thing. Like what you breathe in um, goes right into your body. Okay, so that's one way. It's a very easy way. Just put it in the top of your hand, breathe it in. Another way is you can actually have a diffuser. This is our petal diffuser. And um, and you just you add your water into it. Um, add your essential oil drops. You could do like six to eight drops um, into your diffuser. And then it will diffuse into the air. So this is like a great easy way like everybody can do this they have them you can use them for your house and your work your car um you know anywhere you are and it's a great way to to get the oils in kids because they're breathing it in so we constantly have oils uh, diffusing it in pretty much every room in our house it's just awesome um so that that's one way is the aromatic way and then another way is topical Okay, and so you can do um, this in, in different ways. You can add the oils on different parts of your body, but the, the, to keep it simple and basic, the best way and the most effective way is to put essential oils on the bottom of your feet. Okay, and I thought that was very weird at first. I'm like rubbing oils on my feet, right? Um, and, and when I got started with oils, that was the only thing I actually felt comfortable doing, um, besides putting some citrus oils in my water. Um, and so um, your feet actually have the largest pores, they are the best for absorbing oils. They're the least sensitive. And your body, again, it will still um, get the benefits because your body will absorb the oil and bring it to the place where your body needs that oil. Okay? So you will get the property of it. Um, when you are using oils, certain oils you can add on um, straight, right? But what we like to do is dilute the oils. So this is doTERRA's fractionated um, coconut oil. And it is, let's see here, I'm going to show you, just add a couple of drops, like depending on, um, oops, you can't see it, depending on what you're doing, you can add some drops, and you can add some maluca, just you know, like one drop, and then you, let's say you're adding in your face or something, I don't need to add in my face, I'm just adding my arms for you, because obviously I'm rub my feet right now in front of you guys, but um that's how you would add it on okay so you would just do that onto your feet certain oils you want to add to your belly if you have discomfort in your um you know digestive system or if you have wrinkles or acne so the maluca we'll talk about but that's like really awesome for your skin and so i like to rub that on um in my skin so that's one another way okay um also some of the top places to also put the oils are in your temples um, your wrists, pulse points, okay? Um, behind your neck is also really great. That's where I, I rub them on my kids, behind their neck, spine, and their feet. So, um, I mean, there's different spots you could do it. And this, again, this is the beginner class, but the more you get involved with the oils, you're just gonna find all these really cool things of what you can do and what works best for you. Because um, what works best for one person might not be the best for the other, because everybody is different, just like if you were taking medication. Um, one might work better for you than the other, and that's the same thing with oil. So it's kind of fun that you just get to try out different things. So then the last thing is internally, okay? And this is the one that I felt, I didn't like totally feel comfortable about, about in the beginning, and a lot of people I talk to don't feel comfortable, so that's why I want to show you. So I don't know if you can see here, I just have a glass of water. Okay, so Claire was talking about adding in the lemon or wild orange. So the citrus oils especially, we love to add to our water. So you can add a couple of drops to your water. It says one to four drops per four ounces of water. Okay, so then you can get in your, your oils eternally just through um, drinking them like that. Okay, another way I'm going to show you, and I don't know where actually my digest is. I'm usually... When I do these, I show it with the digest scent, but I'll just do, um, I'll just do peppermint. So I took a veggie cap. Again, this is what I, I was, I didn't know how to use these at first, so I like to go over them with the with my classes, so mm -hmm. how easy it is. So I opened up a veggie cap, okay, um, and then you can just add in a couple of drops, a two drops, okay, um, and then you put the top on. That's it. You can add it with coconut oil or, or something. I just do it like that. Mm -hmm. And then you drink it. 
Okay, now there's certain oils that you want to take um, internally and some you don't, and the ones you don't will say on it, but also they have a safety cap because those are ones you would not take internally. This is deep blue, has wintergreen. You wouldn't put the wintergreen plant in your mouth, so you wouldn't put the oil in your mouth. You know what I mean? So those are the three ways of taking essential oils, and obviously you wanna be safe about it, but um, they have directions on there, and also we're gonna tell you the best resources to get. So when you get your oils, you also have the best resources at your fingertips. Okay, so that's the, the three ways of using it. Claire, do you want to go into your top five oils and then I'll sure. go into five? Okay. Yeah. Okay, so what we want to do next is, um, obviously we can't share all the oils, but what we want to do is just give you a starting um, foundation. Um, this is where everybody gets started because um, it's the top 10 oils that we're going to go over today because there's over 150 uses. And I mean, seriously, if you have these top 10 oils, you're pretty empowered um, to be able to do a lot of stuff. So it's a great way to start with the oils. So um, we're not going to spend a ton of time because we want to make sure we have time to go through all of them. Obviously, you will just forever keep learning. That's the fun part. But I'll give you a few um, basic things. So one of the oils at the top 10 is the deep blue. Bonnie showed that earlier. It does have the cap on it. It is a blend of oils. Okay. That means, let's see if I can get it there closer. I think it might be backwards when you read it. But it's called deep blue and it is the soothing blend. So it is best used topically. And so uh, when you think of soothing, that kind of helps trigger like, oh, it's for muscles, um, for back pain. I had chronic, chronic back pain issues all last year. In fact, I had to see pretty intensively a chiropractor as well. And this deep blue was my best friend um, to relieve pain. It comes in a couple different forms. You get the straight oil um, here, and so you can mix it with coconut oil, or you can make a roller, which I've done that as well. Um, you can learn about how to do that later if you don't know. Oh, yeah. I just know that it can go in a roller. <laughs> um, and it also comes in a lotion form from doTERRA, which is uh, really fabulous as well. But this is amazing. It also is great for growing pains. I have a 14 year old, he's done some really big growing. Um, so we've put this on his knees a lot. Okay. Another one is, another blend is called Breathe. If I can get that a little closer. It's the respiratory blend. Okay, after Wild Orange and Lemon, this was actually our family's um, next oil experience. Um, this was like the first one that we like, was like, oh, we have an issue. Oh, I could try this. Um, and I tried it with my son um, when we, he was 13 at the time. He plays soccer. And he sometimes gets, I, I won't call it asthma, but it's what they call maybe exercise-induced asthma. Like he, sometimes when he's running, his airway just closes up on him. So we got home from soccer practice, and he's just like, oh, Mom, I'm just like having a hard time breathing. And I'm like, oh, breathe. I'm like, here, try this. So I just put this oil right on his chest. Um, I did apply what we call neat without any um, coconut oil. Um, he's an older child. If you have babies and all that, you definitely want to dilute. Um, and he came back to me about 10 minutes later and he's like, mom, what'd you give me? And I said, oh, it was an essential oil called breathe. Why? And he goes, cause that worked. Can I have that every time I play soccer? And I'm like, yes, you can. So that's what we do. Um, he actually has his own little sample that he carries with him to practice in games and he knows how to, um, I love that he's self-empowered, um, to take care of that for himself. So that's another oil. Let's see another one that we really love. This is again with one of my boys, um, digest then, which Bonnie showed how to apply. It also works really awesome. If you just apply it right on the belly, it's a blend of oils. Again, it's the digestive blend. So as it sounds, anything digestive issues, if you ate some bad food, you know, or if you're prone, um, we have customers who have IBS. Um, my son gets tummy aches a lot and I believe there's stress induced. Sometimes our stress just comes out in our digestive tract. This has been a game changer because his tummy aches have been so bad that he would miss a lot of school. And with this, we apply on his belly as a preventive um, every single morning. He won't go to school without it. And then he has a little sample that he can take to school. And it's honestly, it's what keeps him in class. So that's been pretty powerful for us. Um, the lemon, 
That was one of the first oils because it's detoxifying. So I do put a drop of this in my warm water. I have warm water. I love warm water. I'm just weird like that, but I love warm water. So I'll put a drop in my teacup. And that's the very first thing that I um, have in the morning. Okay. You can also clean with it. You can also make some, make some DIY cleaning stuff. What else am I talking about, Bonnie? Let's see. Um, oregano. No, I know. That's on my list. Never mind. Oh, okay. Oregano, yeah. um, my lighting just got weird all of a sudden. I don't know why. Um, it looks like yellowy. Uh, okay. So oregano, uh, if you can see that, that is just, a, that's a straight oil. It's not a blend. This is a really powerful, um, powerful big gun oil. <laughs> Um, it's antibacterial, it's antiviral, um, anti, is it antifungal as well? I know Melaleuca is. Anti-everything. I mean, yeah, I it's just, it's really, it works really, really, really well. So I've used this a couple ways. Um, when we have a sinus infection or something like that, I've actually used this, um, just as I, like you would like an antibiotic and I take it internally. This one you, is a, what we call a hot oil. So you definitely want to dilute or put it in a veggie cap. Um, yep. We also, this summer, my son, my poor son, he has a lot of issues. It's the same boy, by the way, that I'm talking about. Um, <laughs> my other kids use them too, but for different things. So he, his foot was covered with these like warts everywhere. They were disgusting. <laughs> and they were, they just wouldn't go away. And so we started applying um, a drop of this on them and they're gone. So he was pretty happy. I was pretty happy. How long did that take? Just wondering. I did it a, for a good, oops, something fell. Um, a good 10 to 12 days. Okay. Consistently twice a day. Okay. So I had to like even, and we did it during the summer, which it was really hard to be on a schedule. So I actually set a timer in my phone <laughs> so that I would remember to put it on. Right. And, but literally overnight we saw it change yeah. within the first few days. So I just kept, you know, applying to make sure it would be all the way gone because warts are like a virus in the body. Mm -hmm. So this one was amazing. I think I talked about five and then this is, I would say the bonus of the top 10. I just have to make sure I stay again is the wild orange. This was my first love. This was my first experience. This is the small bottle. I don't even know why I have a small bottle, but I go through this a lot. Um, and this was the one that I first tried that was the most powerful on my mood. Um, the most powerful experience. So my first experience was fun. mood related. Oh, if somebody asked me a question, this is wild orange. Okay. So Bonnie's going to talk about the next five. Ready. Awesome. Okay. Frankincense will be my first one. And frankincense is the king of all oils. It's pretty much the best. And there we go. We've got 10 minutes. You can do it. We've got 10 minutes here. Okay. Um, literally, this is, if you, they say when in doubt, bring your frankincense out because it literally does everything. It gives you cellular support. So everything in the body has cells. So literally the best oil. It also is really good for blemishes, skin irritation, wrinkles. Okay. You can like apply this stuff right to your wrinkle. One of the girls that I knew, she's like, after two days, ooh, oh, I thought I needed you. Okay. After three or after two days, her wrinkle was like less, lessened. She's like, okay, I'm obsessed with this stuff. Um, it I'm also going away. I just have to point out, <laughs> I used to have a really deep one. I just have to show you. It's so cool. I just put it in my moisturizer. That's worth showing. Oh yeah. And I have rose hip oil that I'll add it to like of a big jar of uh, rose oil and I had 40 drops of- I do that too. Yeah, and I add it in. It's my all over body cool. lotion. It's wonderful, it's, it really is. And um, the other thing too, it helps with mental exhaustion and sadness. So if you breathe it in or diffuse it, it actually improves your mood. And for me, it helps me stay focused. So I need that one. Let's see, the other one I'm doing is Melaleuca. Awesome, I get the skin one. So Melaleuca is amazing for anything skin related. So um, I actually just got back from Ireland and my husband and I went motorcycling. And so I had to wear the big helmet the entire time. 
and there was, I just rented the helmet so I don't know if they've ever been cleaned before it's kind of disgusting and so I came back and I had white heads <laughs> all over my chin um, oh, no way sitting at the um you know in the in the helmet and so as soon as I came home I was applying um Maluka all over and like within a day they were like already gone you could really awesome. them now. um anyway so Maluka is awesome for that and then also if um you or your children suffer from um how would you say it ear irritations right um you can just put them around the ear not in the ear um, so around it, like I have a roller bottle that I'll put around the ears, um, and my son had tubes in his ears, and so if he went swimming in the in the lake, uh, everything would go right into it. So we would do that, and you could put a drop of a cotton ball, tape it to the ear, and it really helps with a little bit of lavender. Um, so anyway, Melica just does everything, and it's it smells really clean and fresh, so I really like it. Um, actually, you can make a clean, um, fresh spray for your house, too, because it just smells really good. And razor burn, I have to say, razor burn. My son's girlfriend, that she loves it. It'll take away her razor burn if she gets Meluca. She'll spray it on. She has a mix like a little spray. I, I have actually not tried that, but other women that I know swear by it. That's a good, mm -hmm. good thing. So On Guard um, is a must have if you're a mom or if you get sick a lot, right? Because it's our protective blend. So what a lot of people do is they just diffuse it nonstop or they'll rub a little bit of it on their kids, like make a roller bottle put it on their kids' feet before, before school. Um, if, I mean, if you want to be healthy over this season, because we're coming up here in the United States, you know, the, the cold and flu season, you need to protect yourself and that stuff works. Like moms swear by that stuff. They're like, once I started diffusing it, the colds and flus were like way lessened from the years they did not use it. Um, I'm trying to go quick here. Lemon. Did, oh, wait, did you do lemon? So I guess I'm not doing lemon. So peppermint. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, one of my favorite oils. I'm wearing on my lips right now with my lip gloss. <laughs> I put it on my lip gloss and um, I diffuse it. It is amazing. You put it at your water. You could um, diffuse it. It helps with being alert, being awake. Um, it helps with your congestion or if you have any nasal issues you could just breathe it in helps with low energy helps with um fatigue okay there's just so many things you could do plus it just smells mm -hmm. it's one of our top top oils we go over lavender i think that was the one yeah, yeah lavender, so you lavender that. Is, is amazing um my favorite use of lavender is i like to do diy baths you know, like make my own like um, stress relieving bath. You can do the bath bombs, but you could add Epsom salt. I actually just got my 30 pound of Epsom salt delivered from Amazon. Um, so I always have the, the Epsom salt and baking soda. You can add in um, lavender and serenity, and cedarwood, frankincense, whatever you want to your bath. And it's like, you know, we could talk all about about self-care and self-love, but that's one of the things that I do to help calm myself down at the end of the day, right? I put a drop of it in my mascara too. Oh yeah, and your eyelashes go grow like crazy. Yeah. And um, again, skin, anything skin related. Oh, also every mom needs this in her kitchen because if your kids or, your, if, or you, you're putting something out of the oven and you burn yourself, you rub the lavender on it straight and the burn will like disappear. It's really insane. Yep. I'm looking at the time and we only have four minutes left. So I'm going to go quick. So basically how to get all these oils because I have all the oils here except for my digest and I don't know where that one went. <laughs> um, here is called the Home Essential Kit. This is the number one selling kit for, of all the people that I've mm -hmm. sold oils to. Um, they go crazy over this kit because it has the top 10 in the big bottles. This is the smaller bottle, so it's the only size to make, but it's a big bottle. People don't realize that you get um, 15 millers, 250 drops, and you get the $50 petal diffuser. So you get all of these for US, it's 275, okay? And it, mm -hmm. like, it's an investment, right, for your health. If you're, if you're not, um, you know, if you, if you didn't budget, you might think that's an inv uh, investment, and it is. And so these oils will, um, well, one, change your life, keep you healthy, but two, they last for so long. So every time you use it, so one or two drops, and each one has 250 drops, 
Um, like your oregano, you'll probably never buy another oregano again, you know, unless you really have a, an issue that you're working on. Um, you know, these oils will last you months and months. It's, it's really amazing. And then the uses that you get out of them when you dilute them, um, I mean, they're just life changing. So this is what I recommend everyone starts with. Okay. Um, what doTERRA, I'm looking at the clock. What doTERRA, ter right now it is, what's the date? October 6th, right? Mm -hmm. So if you order this month, so if, you list, if you're listening to a recording and it's in November, you have a, we don't have the special anymore. Um, doTERRA is throwing in three of their amazing oils, right? So they have, it's serenity, citrus, bliss, and balance, right? Isn't that right, Claire? I think that's right. Yes. Oh, yes. Grab these oils quickly. Okay, so. Oils are powerful. You are getting these three for free with, with this kit, which is amazing, okay? So Serenity, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Add it to your bath and, and diffuse it at night. Just trust me. Um, Citrus Bliss is the invigorating blend. It's one of my favorite oils. I like to mix this with peppermint or Douglas fir and um, diffuse it, and it is, it is literally beautiful. Um, and then Balance is my grounding blend, and I pretty much don't go anywhere without this because I have four kids, and I need to reground myself multiple times a day. I, this, I think after the top ten, the two most biggest oils moms get after is Serenity and Balance yeah. for stress and calming. Oh, and they're in sure. beautiful together. Oh, we have less than a minute. If you order from your Claire with this kit you're also going to get those and we're also going to throw in the essential life book because it is a must and we are just all about blessing people and we want to give back we want you have the best resources so how to order go to claire or i's website whoever sent you here and then um if you have any questions to let us know but we will leave you the link so you can get started with your own essential oil journey and we are happy to um, help you we'll add you to our facebook groups and schedule a call with you and get you rolling. So welcome everybody and thank you so much for listening. Great, thank you.